Despite the criticism she is receiving for her recent remarks regarding the Israel-Palestine conflict, Cree Sean Rock is refusing to back down. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. They don't believe in Jesus, but that's why it's happening right there. Cree Sean Rock became himself in a controversy this morning as a result of some widely shared remarks on the state of Israel and Palestine. Cause like, I've seen videos where they pray at is cockroaches and infested with- She didn't seem to be doing well at all overall in these remarks. She was, in fact, blatantly offensive during the whole video. Like, so what is God trying to tell us? She said at several points that the reason the Palestinians are being mistreated is because they refuse to exalt Jesus Christ. What is the message behind the chaos? Like, yeah, we know war to war. She also made some offensive comments on the manner in which Muslims worship. But things always happen for a reason and it's happening that's where Jesus was born at. But it's like a lot of people over there. They don't pray to Jesus. They praying to Allah and they saying Jesus just was a prophet. So, I thought it had something to do with that. She made the decision to address the topic just a few hours ago. Regretfully, you will not receive an apology if that is what you were hoping for. Cree Sean basically stated that she has nothing to apologize for in her Instagram story. Rather, all of them were merely discussing their beliefs. Fans of the reality star, however, vehemently disagree, as the diva has faced criticism for her comments all day. See the full live nobody saying anything out of pocket this just my preference on things I respect what people believe I just know what the word says, Cree Sean Rock said. A civil lawsuit alleging an attack that alleged occurred during a Tamar Braxton event has Cree Sean Rock embroiled in legal proceedings. TV celebrity James Wright is suing Cree Sean, according to court filings, alleging she assaulted him at a club event in November, resulting in many facial lacerations and two damaged teeth. Around this same time, James Wright was reportedly admitted to the hospital after Tamar's event in downtown Los Angeles. During an Instagram Live, Tamar discussed the purported incident. According to Tamar, Cree Sean seemed upset when informed that she wouldn't be playing a larger role in the show, as she had assumed. James, the backup vocalist for Tamar Braxton, claims in the lawsuit that he told Rock that she was only expected to be on stage for the twerk segment at the conclusion of the evening. He claims that after telling her that she was not in the right place, she allegedly slapped him. Wright alleges that Rock repeatedly stuck him with large champion-style rings on his hand, resulting in cuts and broken teeth. In the aftermath of the alleged assault, he also says she shouted him a homophobic insult. Following the purported incident, Wright claims he was admitted to the hospital and had to see a plastic surgeon as well as a dentist. James is currently suing Creshawn for assault, violence, and emotional anguish. Among other things, he is requesting payment for his medical expenses. The past several months or so have seen a lot of scrutiny of Cree Sean Rock and her parenting. This is often the case with every choice Cree Sean makes. She got herself into a little bit of difficulty over the weekend because of her blue face face tattoo, as many of you are already aware. She seems to have welcomed Blue back into her life, despite the fact that they split up just a few weeks earlier. She claims that their relationship has never been closer. Despite being incarcerated, Rock has faith in their relationship. Some fans are hastily passing judgment on their child Cree Sean Jr. On social media, someone shared a screenshot from a recent Instagram live session. Using this screenshot, the Twitter user continued his joke about Cree Sean Jr.'s resemblance to Charles Barkley. Even Blueface has joked about this. But many people use the chance to accuse Cree Sean of drinking and smoking while she was pregnant and the tweet they suspect fetal alcohol syndrome in her child. In September, Cree Sean was hit with similar accusations. However, she was quick to respond to people. My baby is healthy. They would have told me if he had symptoms, she said at the time. He's healthy bro. Just cause that picture wasn't that cute doesn't mean an audible you can post my baby on the internet. That shit wild. Now my baby father is bitter. He doing bitter shit now because I liked some shit about my ex being the baby's father. But I'm only doing shit because that hurt. F you. Cree Sean Rock surprised fans in recent weeks by declaring her love for Blueface, the father of her child. She began advocating for his release online after he surrendered himself in earlier this month, posting innumerable flashbacks of their romance. Then, when she disclosed that she was returning to his home despite his incarceration, things only became worse. After Blueface broke up with Cree Sean, he refocused on Jaden, the mother of his first two children. He even assisted her in beginning her rap career, which has subsequently seen considerable success. In October, the Thoshiana performer made the decision to become official. At a game, he asked her out, and she answered, yes. But since then, it appears that they have parted ways, with Jaden declaring her single status and kissing another person at the club. Having saying that, she seemed unfazed by Cree Sean Rock's recent tattoos. She shared what seems to be a response on her Instagram story recently. My skin's so pretty, she commented, attaching a video of her face devoid of tattoos. This might also be interpreted as a jab to Cree Sean, who now sports two facial tattoos that are reminiscent of Blueface. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.